I went on a JFK tour, and I don't believe what the government's telling us. That's what happens when you go there. First of all, interesting how it's a direct shot. Like when you're well up in that window, do you see how you'd have to just point the gun straight down, right? Yeah. Is that what you and think? What, no, it's it, – and listen, you guys, I, I'm, I'm I'm a pretty fair person. Yeah. I don't believe in conspiracies, and I, you know, sometimes you just got chuck, chalk it up as people are crazy and they fucking suck. Sure, but everyone wants to add these conspiracies. Sure, I don't believe ma- most conspiracies. A matter of fact, almost none. I right. believe in a lot of things. Right, that JFK one though. I- well, he'd been in Cuba, so Castro had a reason to kill uh, Kennedy. Castro, I mean, he he was he was a communist. Lee Harvey Oswald, at least, was I think member of the Communist Party for a while. He tried. The Rush turned down. He was suicidal. Yeah, well, he's, they, they, he was. Russia was like, we're all set. Th- but th- those those governments, like those like the Cubans, or they they would use a guy who's unstable to do the but to here, do the job. Or, well, to be the goat. Yeah, because what, because they've yeah, they've they've had the go guy. They've had they've, the the goat where they're right. like, hey, he did it. Although yes. even our government admit there's been more than one shooter now. Even our government admitted that. Yeah. But just Lee Harvey Oswald taking the fall. But also, they had a, a real sniper trying to emulate the same mm-hmm. shot. You can't do it. Oh, really? An actual sniper. Really? Yeah. I didn't, do it. I didn't read that. I thought it was an easy shot. No, it's not. Be, especially with that old gun and recalibrating and doing it. They can't really? do it in the amount of time. Mm. Yeah. They are one um, of the top snipers of all my, time. My, but- my big thing was more that Lee Harvey Oswald was assassinated by Jack Ruby. And they had a Why connection. would he do that? Why would Jack Ruby, who's tied to organized crime, why would he, out of nowhere, jump out and shoot Lee Harvey Oswald? That didn't make a lot and of sense. And you know they knew each other. They did? Yes. There you go. So that, 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 that's what, for me, that was the biggest thing. There's, I, and Jack well, Ruby never admitted anything. He, he died in He died nothing. in prison. They gave, yeah. him li- they gave him the death penalty, though. He died of cancer in, in prison, I think, Yeah, right? three years after that. Wow. So there's a lot of weird shit. That it's all on. weird. But I, my thing, is, why I find it interesting, I've kind of, found, kind of found it heartbreaking when I was going on the actual yeah. tour. I was like, God, JFK was so fucking cool, man. Yeah. He was like a real guy's guy at yeah. fashion, fucked all the girls. He was yeah. a great dude. <laughs> so the thing about him as a president, though, <laughs> um, it was just Sir. a bummer, though. And yeah. the show is kids. I'm like, yeah. fuck, man. Yeah. I watched that movie Jackie his last little night. Son, little son. But he really didn't know what was going on. But no. when his dad's going by in the fucking casket and he like salutes yeah. him god damn so dude sad. it's heavy shit it really it was a tragedy it was very hard for a lot of americans because back then they didn't know that jfk was fucking around they had no idea he he was just the golden boy and he said so to my father jack kennedy was the everything most, he was everything everything when my father was in wisconsin and he grew up with not a lot of money and my father was standing there in line and he saw they they they, they kind of just he watched Jack Kennedy in a convertible drive by and wave at everybody. And my father just remembered how tan he was like good and how well dressed he yeah. was. And to my father and guys like that, he was American aristocracy. Yeah. And he was everything that was good he's about royalty. It was, yeah. it was, yeah, there was this, there was this like glow about him, yeah. you know? And, uh, his approval rating was crazy yeah. too, right? <laughs> As they're all waiting, there was a guy who, before Jack Kennedy came down, he was in a convertible and he was just sitting there. And just waving everybody. He dressed like Jack Kennedy. My like, dad's laughing. Sorry, he was as hard as he ever laughed. The guy was just going, come on. The guy just rolled through and the guy was like, thank you. Thank you very much. I just, I just want to, I wish someone out there, like right before their deathbed, and it's a legit person, like, this is what happened. This is exactly what happened. Like, because some guy um, who's in prison, I don't know if he's dead now, he came out and said he was the grassy knoll shooter and he can prove it, but they couldn't really prove anything. Yeah. But. I didn't hear that thing about the sniper thing. I thought it was an yeah, easy Jesse shot. Yeah, Jesse Ventura uh, hired a sniper really? with the exact gun. I wonder if he. The, I wonder if that was poetic license. Sometimes they they do things like that to make well. But but there's a, I, I did a bunch of research on. It. They had a bunch of experts with that. It was a shitty gun, uh, so the gun doesn't make it was sense. M one or something. It was an Italian like old school gun. Oh, okay. Like they said, it would be like a collector's item. Wow. Like you wouldn't if you're a real sniper, you wouldn't use that gun. Right. So they had those guys try it with that gun, like real snipers. And get it off the amount of time they said those three shots were fired, and they can't do it in the time. And these are professionals. Jesus. And Harvey uh, Lee Harvey Oswald was uh, he got three shots. Three shots. He was a yeah. technician. He was a he was a guy that read the radars. He was not a gunsmith. He was he he never had a gun in the military. He yeah. went to boot camp. Yeah, but he had no prior training. To oh, him. really? I thought he was an expert. No, not even close. Really? Not even close. So he was a guy behind the keyboards. Really? Yeah. That's what's interesting about it. He also never admitted to the murders. When they were interviewing him, he's like, I killed the cops, and he had his reasons, but he would never admit to the Kennedy murders, ever. Yeah. 
really interesting. It's just fascinating. Who knows, man? They also they, they found the bullet intact right on the gurney, which if you know anything about ballistics, apparently is impossible. Here, here's like, the other thing. You, you the, the car, right? I don't know. The car, the initial bullet that hit him in the throat went through the windshield. Went, and the, the doctor who saw him said that was an insert wound, not an exit wound. It was an insert wound. But then the, he down the road, he changed his story. And they said, nope, it came back. He was the only shooter here. And now our government admits that a, sh- a bullet went through the front. But how about literally that night, the next day, the car was switched out, cleaned, even though it was a crime scene. They switched out the windshield, the entire car, cleaned it that out. That makes no sense. And exactly, like, this is a fucking crime scene. That makes no I'm sense. I'm like, yeah, but we need it for our president. We, this can't, we can't have people seeing this. Like, no, well, hold up. Yeah, the rest of the people are like, this is a crime scene. Like, nope, it's our president. So they wow. fixed it all. There's for, a lot of fishy Covered shit. up everything. It's so fishy to me. There's a lot of fishy shit there. That's crazy. And then how about originally people were pointing at the grassy knoll, said a shot came from here, and people were running this way to it, and the original cop who was on the right side took his vehicle and went chasing on right. the grassy knoll, and then uh, he was calling it in, and then they're like, oh, no, there was the shot over here. He's My like, only thing about the like, grassy no, knoll is over aren't, here. There, weren't there a lot of people around who would have yeah, seen somebody? Yeah, and, they, and they were pointing, and this cop chased Went that way. Oh, I see. Yeah, people were saying, "Hey, we heard shots over here." Let me Just see the grassy witnesses. knoll. Let me see the grassy knoll, because I, I don't have any problem believing that there was there was there was Lee Harvey Oswald was shooting. My only thing, oh, see, there weren't a lot of people there though. There weren't a lot of people were there. Nope. And you and uh, you see the umbrella man. This is deep in conspiracy. You see the umbrella man. It was sunny out, and there's a man with an umbrella. And one of the th- uh, theories is that umbrella, when you open it, can shoot out of it. And our CIA agent came out and said, that is a device we created, that we've yeah. made. Look, it's hot out in his umbrella. And when they, and they, they, guess what? The shots went down. He was sitting relaxed. Once everything happened, they came up and said, what the fuck? What happened? You see? He goes, couldn't see my umbrella. I missed what happened. Damn. So a lot of people think the umbrella man could be a conspiracy. I don't know. I whether any of this is true or none of it's true, I find it fascinating yeah, as fuck. Yeah, it's fun. To, it's but fun also, to the there's an umbrella man, and it's sunny as fuck. That makes no sense. And he has a hat on, so it literally no sense. Um, but the other thing is, is I found it kind of heartbreaking, too. When I was on the tour, I was like, God, it's why a am I bummer, partaking dude. in this? It's a bummer. When you see her crawl well, out of how, how about on this tour that I got on, B? It's a, it's a tour bus, and they take you down, and he goes, they paint the picture. Go, All right, imagine this. It's packed. Over 600,000 people down on the streets. You can barely move. Just John F. Kennedy's going down. Yeah. And they're celebrating. He's waving. Yeah. And people would stop. And he, he, they told him we have to get going. He'd force the vehicle to stop and shake their hands. He was because he's a people, you know, mm-hmm. he loved people. And mm-hmm. he'd do all this stuff. And they go, and they're cheering, cheering. He's waving like this. Then just, Stack. fuck. Well, he goes down. You see him go down and grab his throat. Mm-hmm. You know, and then, uh, then the governor, I think, in the front got hit in the wrist. And he goes, they're going to kill us all. No, so the right. the this the the government says I sound like Audi Bravo. The government, the original bullet that went through, like they say, it went through this way through his throat, hit the governor in the back, came out his titty, damn, came through his wrist into his knee and came out. What the fuck? And they've done those That's reports a heavy on that. And they're bullet. Like, yeah, they're like it's not possible, and it was a bigger bullet than the original one that hit. But, but the governor did get hit there. He got hit, but they're saying it was then now with our forensic team, yeah. they can listen to the this. video. They can listen to the video. Look at that. And there's more than three shots. There's six. They, they count six. Bullet hole, shirt, collar, bullet collar. Look at that shit. God damn. So it must have bounced up. I mean, bullets do crazy shit, so I don't know. Especially like a high moving. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about but, but here's But here's the thing, B. All of them, <clears throat> like even our government admits, now there's more than one shooter. That's so a, we know there was multiple shots. Are they shots. saying that's the pristine bullet, though? Yeah, they're saying that that's one bullet, bullet did bullet all that. Theory. The magic bullet. And that nothing happened to the bullet? It stayed like yeah. that? But now there's, but now with uh, the government saying there's more than one shooter. So even the, the Governor Christie said that initial shot was, was the, the one that came through the windshield is what fucked up. How bad was Connolly messed up? Was he all right in the end? He lived, yeah. Jesus. I'll tell you what. And then, yeah. And then, you know, Trump re- released those tapes, but he went, oh, we can't release everything because some of it would jeopardize our government if people found out what really happened. So they released some, and it, mm. in, in those tapes, the government says there's more than one shooter. Mm. Again, I'm not a big conspiracy theory guy. I'm well, the not anti, one, was, I'm not it, was it the Warren Commission that did yeah. the, uh, yep. yeah. And they, 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 they were shady as fuck. They're also yeah. hired by uh, LBJ. Well, also, you know, you're you're given the evidence you're given, but 
if they if they erase the crime scene and stuff like that, and you find this magic bullet, and they couldn't find Kennedy's brain, there's a lot of weird. What shit. else is weird to me is LBJ, and, you know, and JFK fucking hated each other, hated each other, despised each other. Oh yeah, despised each other. Yeah, well, usually the vice and president, they had the same mistress. You know that? And the, no, and they had the same mistress that no. they're fucking. And then Eskimo the, brothers, Eskimo, <laughs> JK, LBJ, Eskimo bros, what? the most famous Eskimo bros of all time. Yep. Name a better combo. I'll wait. I'm, I and don't, I don't that's fucking two of the most powerful men in the world. Whoever Eskimo she brothers. was, who is she? She was a dime piece. You know what? She was all right. He's had better. However, listen. Yeah. So um, they were at a party the night before, and this is a rumor. This is this is the biggest conspiracy theory. The the fucking side piece said LBJ went wait till tomorrow. Kenny won't be talking shit anymore. Something to that degree. You know that now this is a side piece which I don't put too much trust into. Me neither. You know that. Okay, she looks like shit there, <laughs> well, but that's in the eighties. You know, you know that uh, they go back to LBJ CT. had a had a hog, a hog. Oh, you, are you talking about the fucking? I mean, he was known for his. Oh, he had a battleship. Yeah, yeah, he had a he had a dude. It he had, had, it had a. Had, Cuban it, Missile Crisis. It down made there. noise. It hung low, dude. It was angry. Got a full anchor down there. Yep. Uh, go back to her, when, where it says uh, the videos, Jen. Oh, the videos. Yeah. Let me see this fucking side piece rat. Hold on. Take it easy, bro. Sorry, bro. There you go. LBJ's mistress blows whistle on JFK assassination. Go to that shit. It's only five minutes. Let's talk oh, she's fine. Come on, Dallas, she's not late. Uh, where were you at the time? Of the assassination. assassination. I was, uh, I'd packed my car to go to Austin for the big fundraiser. And uh, they were having a meeting of the Democrats down the old red courthouse. And they were fussing, they were, some of them were highly uh, disenchanted about um, John Kennedy coming to Texas. And so here they were wrangling, which was very common. So me, I was lighthearted and I said, hey guys, I'm going on to Austin. I'll see you guys in Austin tonight. And I blew him a kiss. I walked out of the red courthouse, and we didn't have all the parking problem. I get in my automobile. You could hear the parade, the noise from the parade. I drove across the Houston Street Viaduct in order to hit the, the highway to go to Austin. And impulsively, I said, I won't have time to have my hair fixed in Austin, so I'll go by. Uh, let's see, was it fair? Yeah, details that don't matter, old bat. The beauty salon and get my hair freshened so I could go on to Austin. All I can think about is her getting... Again, it's about... Her on a spit with LBJ and JFK. No, don't, no. From no. the Red Courthouse. No, she's a fine lady. walked in the door. They were already on the television that he had been shot. So uh, I asked if I could use the phone. I called. I knew if anything, anyone knew anything... It would be just kill them in Austin because they carried all three networks. So I called Jess and I said, what is going on? First, I called Lucy Berry. <laughs> Do you want to watch downtown. Where does she get to the fucking juicy details, you old bat? And here are people that should have been out at the trade. Quit board. beating around the graham cracker and give us our goddamn <laughs> info. And he said, well, they just shot that SOB. And uh, maybe Lyndon. Well, when, when Lou told me it was Lyndon... Of course, it was very upsetting, and I didn't live all that far from the... Uh, she loved campus. herself some Lyndon. He Lyndon was a charming that guy. Pipe. Dude, she didn't give us any info. Go back. No. He was a charming guy. Uh, listen to the Lyndon Johnson tapes if you guys get a chance, man. There you go. Is this another one? This is a dialogue. Yeah. And Linda B. Johnson's mistress says, oh, never mind. This is all about him being involved with the assassination. Yeah, LBJ. the mistress. Yeah, that's it. It's a lot her. of people get involved in, yeah. after the but fact. But my thing is, if you have a side piece, you're not going to be like, hey, the biggest murder of the no. history you don't tell of America, no. it's happening tomorrow. Correct. Girl. Now suck this dick. Yeah. That ain't happening.